Hi, my name is Kristen. I'm with Expert Village, and I'm teaching you proper care of fish today and a little bit about the different types of fish. Now that we've finished filling the fish tank, like I showed you here, I'm going to show you how to drain the water out of the python to release it from your sink. A lot of people, when you fill the fish tank up, go ahead and fill the fish tank above the brown part here. Just make sure you don't fill it up to where it touches the top of the tank, because if you do, then the water coming out the filter cannot pro flow properly, and this is where you get your oxygenating from the water. Some people get scared, and they only want to fill the tank up to right here, which leaves a big gap, and it's unsightly. So go ahead and fill the tank up to where the brown part is on the tank, and that way you don't see a water line, and you don't see the calcium deposit that comes from the water that gets all of the tank is unsightly. If you follow me into the kitchen, I'll show you how to properly get drain all the water out of the python so you can put it away for storage. We are in the sink to where we're going to drain our water out of our python. We're going to take a rag off that we put over it to keep the water from flowing. What I'm going to do is turn the hot and cold water back on. As you can tell, I've still got water coming out of the python hose. What I will do is grab a hold of the python head twist it and turn it down, which sends the water back out through the python hose. What I will do is give this a few seconds to drain all the water out, and there will be some noise difference in the process. You can tell it's a full sounding now, and as the water has emptied out, this time to an open sounding, which is a little different. When the water has drained out of your hose, turn your pot and your cold water off. Detach your python hose from the bracket that goes to the sink, as I'm doing here. And then detach the faucet of the python that hooks to your kitchen sink. Sometimes you have to take this off in a two-part session when you put it on too tight and you can't get it off. Once you get this done, reattach the hose to your sink back to your faucet so that you have your proper working sink. Once you're done doing water changes on your fish tank, make sure you get your household cleaner and your washing rag and wash your sink up properly because you've just put fish waste and fish food down the drain with bad yucky water and you don't want to contaminate your food as or your bowls, your plates, or your spoons. So make sure you properly clean your sink after you do water changes on your fish tank. 